This is Dr. Yagnik from Miami, Florida. Today we're going to highlight the Apollo SJ50 probe and its utilization inside the knee. This has become my go-to probe given its unique size and shape and we're going to highlight some of the key features today. So right now we're looking in the lateral compartment. I'm using a panoscope so we're getting a broader view of the meniscus than we normally would with a traditional 30 degree scope. We're bringing in our probe from the, from the medial portal and you can see the unique size and shape of this probe allows us to get into a tight compartment here. I like to use this probe uh, in multiple areas of the knee. Uh, we're going to show an example of using this probe for a mild meniscal debridement just to get some of these frayed edges. To complete the treatment of this compartment, we can also use our probe for a chondroplasty. The probe has the same unique edge ablation features, so you create your plasma field not just at the face, but also around the edges as well. Where I found this probe particularly helpful is for meniscal root repair. So here we are, you can see, again, we have our pano view. So we're sneaking our probe here, and we can really get into very tight spaces with this probe. We have plenty of working length to identify the location of our transosseous tunnel. And because of the smaller bulk of the probe, it's about 20% smaller with less bulk than our traditional probe, we're able to really view around the probe. We can see the back of our tibial plateau. We can hook it, use it to hook the back of the plateau and then come just anterior to identify and mark our spot for our transosseous tunnel for our root repair. And so this is a traditional prep that I would do for a medial meniscal root repair using the SJ50 probe. So here we are in the patellofemoral joint. We have the panoscope in, we have our traditional 30 degree view, and you can see we're, we're seeing about half the trochlear groove in the patella. If we switch to the full pano view, we can see almost the entire patellofemoral joint. We're bringing in our SJ50 probe, which really has the ideal shape and curvature to reach all aspects of the patellofemoral joint, whether it's the undersurface of the patella or the trochlear groove. And so we'll use the wand, the edge control, in performing our chondroplasty in the undersurface of the patella. Again, the precision of the edge control allows us to distribute our plasma field just in the areas of the articular cartilage that we're intending to treat. We can then change the angle of the probe, and we can use the face of the probe here in the trochlear groove, again, harnessing the curvature and size and shape of the probe in any angle or feature that we want, whether we want to use it with the face or we want to use the edge control feature as we're demonstrating here. So a very versatile probe that allows us to access multiple aspects and regions of the patellofemoral joint. So just to highlight both the panoscope in terms of the view that you're able to get with the panoscope, as well as the SJ50 probe and its ability to access all aspects of the knee, whether it's the condyles, the back of the knee, as we're able to demonstrate here, as we flex the knee down, we can get way in the back of the knee. Again, there's our, our tunnel location for our medial meniscal root repair, and we can see around the probe to, to mark that spot. We can access, and then finally, as we go into extension, again, our panoscope gives us a beautiful view of the entire patellofemoral joint, and our SJ50 probe is able to access all aspects of the patellofemoral joint with ease.